quick review of the Fummins adapter that I built. Uh, I'm sure you've probably seen pictures of it. So here's the actual board. It's got leads running into the truck for the apps. Then over to the PCM for the uh, uh, crank and cam signal. This is the actual cover. I took it off make it a little easier to uh, film the video. <coughs> so I built them out for it. Let me get under the truck to show you that there's no tone wheel on this engine. You may just barely be able to see the Hall Effect sensor. Probably not, but let's see if you can get it from this side. I don't know if you can see it, but bottom line, you can tell there's no tone wheel on this 12 valve. Let's go jump in the truck. <clears throat> Take a look at the pedals. As you can see there are no apps, no app sensor there. These are the wires coming off the Fummins adapter that I've got connected directly to the, where the old uh, apps pedal wires or the old apps connector came in. I'm going to start it up. So, while the uh, Insight CTS-2 starts up so I can show you the apps, um, for now you can take a look at the RPM. It's dead on. So now the, uh, you see the RPM in the top left corner. And you see the APP in the right. That is accelerator pedal position. And so that uh, is a signal, or the three signals that are being output by the uh, Fummins adapter board. It is actually uh, it comes off the Cummins TPS, which I'll get to in a moment. So, it's a nice solid tack. Works great. I've got about 3,000 miles on it, and it works great. Um, so the apps is actually being. We're picking up that, that from the stock Cummins uh, TPS sensor. One issue I have had with that stock sensor is that when the underhood temperatures get over about 190 degrees Fahrenheit, that temperature sensor, or I'm sorry, that uh, uh, throttle position sensor can uh, be off by two or three percent. Uh, it hasn't had a huge impact on uh, shifting or anything, but. Um, it's part of the reason why I decided to design an RPM or a, a tack only board, uh, which I just sent off to Fab uh, a few days ago. <clears throat> um, one thing I'll show you on this board is let me grab this uh, LCD screen. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I've got a little uh, LCD screen we can use to actually see what is going on, so I'll try to set that up so we can. Plugging it into the, get up there and hopefully we can see it. Hopefully it's not too bright. <clears throat> it might be pretty bright. We'll try it out anyways. Yeah, I don't think you can see it. I'm going to pause the video and see if I can get that in a better spot for us. 
Right, it looks like maybe the only way we'll be able to do this is from outside the truck. So there's the information on the current RPM, whether it's outputting RPM, throttle position. Um, D app is desired apps and uh, C app is the current position that's being fed to the Ford PCM. Uh, so as I push the pedal down. So you'll see there's a little gain and I did that initially because the Cummins makes so much more power at uh, lower RPM or lower throttle position I should say uh, versus the 6.0 and so it seemed that by adding a little bit uh, of gain to the lower throttle positions that it helped the 5R110 shift better um, and so I had very good success with that uh, if you just do it one to one in the lower throttle positions you get some flaring and stuff like that and mind you this was without any programming to the PCM this was just on a stock flash so uh, I'm going to go and start it up so you can see the RPMs there. I don't think we'll be able to watch them both simultaneously. It's just too bright out. But you get the point. The um, The app works. Uh, it's working very well for me. Uh, I don't know how well it would work in an end-user environment. Um, you know, this is one truck uh, with testing on the apps, <clears throat> uh, but I've had very good success with it. Um, I already have some videos uploaded of driving the truck around and all that kind of stuff from day one. So um, the RPMs are dead on. Uh, works great. Uh, and like I said, I've actually just finished designing a smaller, uh, much less expensive board to build. Uh, because it doesn't have all those expensive connectors on it and all that kind of stuff um, for uh, doing tack only without the um, tone wheel uh, just using the factory 12 valve uh, with the two notches on the balancer and the uh, factory hall effect sensor uh, it should be applicable to 24 valves and common rails as well although i don't have any to play with or test on so uh, it's going to be a little difficult uh, to develop that without getting to play with one of those, but <clears throat> um, but they're you know it's very similar technology, just more teeth and uh, a gap in uh, in the teeth, so uh, here and there. But uh, uh, hopefully that answers some questions. Uh, let me know if you guys have any additional questions. Thanks.